Good morning, everybody. It's Andy Ophi, the Yankee Clothes in our house. Everyone doing this morning. Today, we had the Bureau of Labor Statistics employment report come out, and the number was well below expectations. And this number is a headline number that everything in the marketplace looks at for direction as far as our economy goes. But what's happened with this number, in my opinion, just from experience, is that it's lost an incredible amount of luster when it comes to helping a market move one way or the other. Remember now, these are household and business surveys that are taken that generate these numbers. And then within that number, there are components. There's a U6 number that we're gonna talk about uh, directly. I'm gonna put all this information in this email so you can read it and then keep it and understand how these numbers can create chaos one way or the other with the marketplace. So. You know, I talked this morning in my live video that the ADP number, which comes out, is a much more accurate definition as far as job creation goes. Because again, this is a company that is creating payroll checks for people and they are on the spot as far as how much they create on a weekly basis. So that number actually now is starting to carry a little bit more strength than the BLS report, which comes out Friday, which always was a huge thing when we were on Wall Street. You know, we'd scream and get ready and get ready to go at 7.30 in New York to see which way the market would pop if it did or it didn't. But today, the number came in much lower. And as always, what we have to look at is that when the numbers come in weaker, that's a positive sign for bonds and a weaker sign for stocks because more volatility, people come out of the stock market and they go to a flight to quality and they buy bonds. Well, that didn't happen today. As much as that number was off, the bond market didn't move. And I'm gonna show you a quick chart. Thanks to the guys at MBS Live, they're great. I use them all the time. Their charts are the best. I don't have access to them, but I do have because I can look at them, but I can't manipulate them if that makes sense. Let's look at them real quick, okay? So this is the yield on a 10 year note. And if you remember earlier in the week, I was telling you that 275 became a really good top to keep our eyes on. And well, lo and behold, the market got better after last week's massive sell off. And now we saw the market come back down and touch 262, which is kind of where we're sitting right now in yields. Now, in order for us to see any type of significant move lower, well, we got to get below 262, close below that, and the next stop is 257. But we're going to look at those if we do indeed break through that. So right now, if you can think about it, you know, we're being sandwiched between a high end and a low end. This is called the range. And one way or the other, we weren't able to break above it, which would not have been good for our rates over 275. Hey, it would be great if we can test 262 and go below that and see where we can go as far as moving rates a little bit lower. So a 13 to 15 basis point trading range from 275 to say 260, that's pretty nice if we can stay on the low end. Again, after last week's sell-off, we'll take this rally and go from there. Now again, within the email I'm gonna send you out and the post that I'm gonna put on Facebook along with this video, you're going to see the breakdown of how this BLS number works. And again, it's a household and a business survey with other components in there that the market absorbs and looks at. Why the market didn't move significantly today? My first opinion is, is that we saw average hourly earnings move higher. And that's an inflationary statistic that the Fed looks at because ultimately it, it comes back to us. If I have to pay someone more money to stay employed within my company, what am I gonna do? That's gonna to convert to higher prices and that's gonna come out of our pocket as far as the products and services that we have to buy in order to facilitate the pay of the employee. So I think that number is what really kept the uh, lid on the market from getting away one way or the other. We'll see how stocks do the rest of the afternoon. Again, Friday was really kind of a dud, even though the number was a big, big miss. Have any questions, give me a call. Andy Ophi, the Yankee Closer. Make sure you read the email. The survey numbers were very, very, very um, misleading. Have a great day. Bye.